Still a bit sniffly, so you'll have to excuse me. But <clears throat> I'm gonna go with Green Days, American Idiot, probably their most famous album, and uh, a huge change in style and format compared to Nimrod and their earlier albums. Now I did skip an album which is called Waiting, I believe, or Warning, one of the two. I've never really listened to that album. I don't know what it is. I just I've never really liked it. I mean, I have listened. I said I didn't. I have listened to it, but I never really enjoyed it as much as uh, Nimrod or this one. Now this one has huge, massive childhood memory points to me. Um, so it, you probably won't understand this unless you're in the UK. But we had a caravan down in Devon, a nice caravan park. And as a kid, you know, we'd drive around Devon, Torquay, Paynton, uh, just those sort of areas down there. And my dad would listen to this on the car stereo system all the time. And obviously, so I grew up listening to Green Day. And I do thank him for it. I mean, my music tastes. My, my music tastes pretty much come from my dad, as well as stuff that I found, you know, myself. But this is definitely one that my dad got me into. And it is an amazing album. Uh, I know some people, some people prefer their earlier sound on Nimrod or Ducky, but for me, it has to be the hits. Um, and I'll show you, my short term memory is terrible, but lovely gatefold. Um, <coughs> now, it's just a plain black vinyl, so I won't be getting it out, but it's a nice label. I only really, I'll only show you the, oh, it's ripped. Oh no, how the fuck did, no. Huh, okay. Oh, ah. Uh. Stop. That needs a new sleeve. What happened there? I promise you the record's fine. It's just a bit, the sleeve's a bit broken. Um, so it starts with American Idiot, which is probably, again, one of their most famous songs and the title track to the album. Just superb. Great guitar riff, great vocals, amazing. And then my favourite song on the album, to be honest, Jesus of Suburbia, which has a few different parts. Jesus of Suburbia, City of the Damned, I Don't Care, Dearly Beloved, Are You Listening? I Can't Remember, no, I Can't Remember, Tales from Another Broken Home, are just amazing. Um, Jesus of Suburbia, in my mind, is the Bohemian Rhapsody of punk rock. I know, I know, calm down, calm down. I said it, it's there. I, I truly believe that this is the greatest punk rock song. It's nine minutes long, thereabout, and I think it's a masterpiece. I love the flows, like I love how it transitions from one sound into another. It gets, you know, it gets louder and quieter and louder again. It's just superb. Uh, then we have Holiday, which is an amazing song. <coughs> it talks about uh, killing all the fags that don't agree and bombing the Eiffel Tower. Which I love. I love. I mean, I get. I like the lyrics. I don't agree with them. Do not come at me. I do not. I'm watching you. Yeah, you. No. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, number four. We have Boulevard of Broken Dreams. <laughs> Undisputably the most known or most played uh, Green Day song. Easily the, you know, their biggest hit. And it is a great song. To be fair. Some people might think it's a bit cheesy, but I quite like it. It is a good song. Uh, why are, are, well, <clears throat> are we waiting? Which is amazing. Uh, Saint Jimmy! <laughs> That's his name. Don't Wear It Out is a great song. Saint Jimmy. Uh, give Me Nova, Give Me Novocaine, which I'm assuming is some sort of drug. That's a really great, it's a bit of a slower song than the rest of the album, but it is great. And then, she's a rebel, she's a saint, <coughs> she's a soul to the earth, and she's dangerous. It's a great song. Extraordinary Girl is lovely. Our oh, Letter Bomb is an amazing song. I like Letter Bomb. But uh, the best song on that side has to be Wake Me Up When September Ends, which again is a really popular Green Day song, and it is absolutely beautiful. Um, now, 
the the songs written about uh Billy Joel's dad. Is it Billy Joel Arm yeah, Billy Joel Armstrong. I didn't forget his name. Uh his dad would sadly pass away when he was young. And the story goes that uh Billy Joel locked himself in his room and when his mother came to you know, ask him to come out, he told his mum to wake him up when September ends. So, you know, it is it's a really heartwarming song, it is beautiful. And then we have Homecoming, which is a really great song. And I love the different parts to that. The death of St. Jimmy, East 12th Street. Nobody, nobody likes you. Everyone left you. Um, rock and roll girlfriend. Uh, we're coming home again. It's just a really great song. But the album ends with What's Her Name, which I, ab I absolutely love. It's not like a big triumphant album closer. Maybe Homecoming could have been the last out, uh, song on the album. Could have swapped them around, but it doesn't matter. It's a really beautiful song about... I believe it's about a breakup, and he's burning all the photos. But he says that he's burning the photos, but the memories will stay with him. You know, he's forgetting the, the person, but not the time. And it is... I think it's beautiful. This album... It's a really... um. Uh, play, it's, well, it is a play, it was a Broadway play, I believe, that they turned into Brain. No, <laughs> this album became a play, they turned it into a Broadway play. I haven't seen the play, but I'm assuming it's great. Um, I mean, it's a lot more, I don't know what the word is. Um, it's like a TV show, it's like, it's a lot more scripted and it tells a story <laughs> that's my point I'm, I'm getting to it it tells a story whereas the last albums are more of a collection of songs this one is more like the wall where it tells a story and i can't think of what the concept album it's a <clears throat> it's a concept album uh and it's amazing definitely go listen to this if you're one of the few people who have never listened to this album um Thanks for watching as I die. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks for putting up with me and my stupidity. Take care, everyone.